Hello, this is Virtual Chess Noob learning and having fun with chess. Welcome to another episode of Chess Chats where we discuss all things about chess. Today I wanted to talk about the Chestnut Evo feature where you can train chess neural networks based on game data and create a customized AI based bot using Leela Chess Zero. I have a few personal thoughts about this and I wanted to share with you separate to the Chestnut Evo prototype review and demonstration video of the feature. Firstly, I think that it's enormously impressive that it's working at all. As I showed in my video, after training on a small number of my games, 200, the Virtualis bot played my usual openings for both white and black, and these openings are unusual enough that it's unlikely that the engine just played them as a fluke. Engines won't usually play gambit lines unless explicitly programmed to do so. Chestnut needs to leverage this amazing system beyond individuals submitting small number of games of uh, small numbers of games for custom bots. As Chestnut owns and controls the back end, they should create a suite of custom bots that Chestnut Evo users can download and try. For instance, imagine the Chess World Champion series of bots. Individual bots trained from the game repositories of the first world chess champion, Steinitz, to the new champion, Dinkley Ren. This would be amazing. Or opening specific bots. If I wanted to learn to play against, let's say, the French defense, I could load up a French defense playing bot, or against the open Sicilian. The opportunities are almost endless. Or imagine, user submitted bot battles. Users can submit a bot that they can only be trained by their own games and these flawed and far from perfect bots battle to see who would win. However, I am concerned that Chestnut's planned subscription model for people to access training is going to undermine this amazing feature. I'm concerned that they are poisoning the well. Simply, unless there is a critical mass of users and an ecosystem around these custom AI models and bots, I highly suspect that most users won't pay for access as they will not see the value. My view is that the ability to train custom AI models is by far the most innovative feature of the Chestnut Evo. All the other features of the Evo, being able to play online games, being able to play inbuilt bots, being able to play over the board and record the moves, being able to use a board for learning and training, squares coloured to show the best moves, have all existed before, though potentially with a different technical solution. My suggestion to Chestnut, think carefully about your planned subscription model, as I think most users won't subscribe consider using a monetization model that some of the image creation AI services use. For instance, all users can download the AI models, but perhaps some premium models are for subscribers. All users can train new AI models, but perhaps in a more limited fashion. For instance, limited numbers of times per month with more limited options and features. Consider upgrading the Chestnut app for the Chestnut Air and Chestnut Pro so that the custom AI bots can be used uh, to increase the user base for this service. Anyway, what do you think about the customized AI based bot feature on the Chestnut Evo? Please put down your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.